now i will discuss about the route groups this is a very important thing in laravel route route groups in laravel actually provide a way to group together the several routes and apply midi layers or a prefix into there this is very useful when you want to apply the same midi layer or prefix to the multiple routes how it works i am going to show you for example i am going to give you an example of the midi layer for example route midi wire so this is one example and here for example sorry i am going to write here auth midi layer okay and in the midi layer i will group some some functions so here i will have to write the group so uh, very carefully uh, say this first it is route then midi layer okay then there is a parameter in the midi layer then an arrow symbol you will have to give then a group name you will have to give and into the group i will create an anonymous function here that is like this simple i hope you have understood this thing now all the route i will write here that i want to give an authentication upon this for example i am going to create a route for example here dashboard okay so dashboard and in the function here i can do anything so i am not going to give here like this so it is for example return dashboard actually not return dashboard here actually uh, in practically we will use the controller codes here controller and the methods into the controller but for example uh, as i did not uh, show you about the controller yet so i am not going to describe it here that will make you confusion so here just see that here i return just dashboard just remember that this dashboard can be accessed only those persons who are authenticated because i called the authenticated auth middleware here a dashboard here here can be many things for example profile user profile like this and also i can write here another one for example photo change photo so photo here this can be photo okay so here it can um, there can be many things here so that is not important important is to understand this thing that is route middleware so when you will apply this middleware into any route and the middleware name you will provide here that means if an user is authenticated only this route will work and that means that user will be able to access this route otherwise he will not be able to access this route so this is on use of the route group there is another use case for a route group that means you can easily apply it on a prefix i am going to show you that now like before i am going to write the route and then prefix instead of middleware but here another thing i uh, forget to tell you that is for example i want to use multiple middleware under some, uh, upon some routes it can be happened in many cases so if i want to call the multiple middleware I want to use the multiple middle layer here. For example, auth, then another middle layer, another auth, or admin auth, or admin anything. Then what I can do? I cannot use like this. So in that case, I will have to write those as an array elements here, like this. So just remember it. Okay. Now I am going to come here. For example, I am going to write. Uh, route prefix here okay so in the prefix i can write anything for example admin prefix and here i will have to create another group like before that is group and here there is a function anonymous function like this 
so just like this here it was middler and here it is prefix now i am going to copy this and paste it here for example this is my about page admin about and this is about and for example there are some other page that is contact and this is contact and another one is settings and this is settings so in this way i can use a prefix here for example i am working in the admin panel so in the admin panel all my routes that should be like this admin about then it can be admin contact because uh, by the name about you can have two routes for example in the front end you are going to work with an application then in the front end there is another one that is only about but in the admin there is another about page to change the settings of the about page then how you write that so in that case you will have to define the route like this admin about so in the front end you just call about and for the admin end you just call admin about this can be happened so in that case all the admin settings or admin about admin content etc page can be come here so instead of using admin in every where in the route for example admin slash you see that for each route into the admin you are writing the route admin slash admin slash admin slash this way but instead of writing admin slash in all places i can just create a prefix here prefix means you do not write actually the admin slash in all the cases just you call a prefix here if you call a prefix here you can easily call the in the route when you will write an application admin slash about for example here what i can do i can give admin about you see that the about page comes about means i am showing this about another one is contact right so here admin contact you see that it is working and another one is settings you see that settings is here because i written the settings that means instead of but remember that this is a part of the uh, of the route so if you want to omit it like this it will not work because actually by the name settings there is no route here you write only settings but actually settings is not the route name the route name is admin slash then settings so in this way we can easily use the prefix as a part of the route and this is the route group actually so you have seen two types of group one is middleware this type group and another one is prefix and use the prefix as the route group so i hope you have understood how to work with the route groups in laravel